Anime. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, hang on. I think it's time to play some Factor. <laughs> Ugh. EO. Factor.io. Wait, Kane, do you want to play it, some Agario? It is a Factor. Right. I'm going to turn, turn down my media so I can just hear the call. No, Kane, Kane, let's play I'm some Agario. I'll play Agario later. We've got to play a Gario together. A bucket detective, and I just haven't played it yet. What is? Hang on, Kane. Detective? It's an ad. It's gonna be a hot nine seconds. Yeah, you you know I run ads. I'm trying to get that monetization. What are you talking about? <laughs> what is Bucket Detective? Uh, do you remember the game I told you about called? Uh... Hold on. Right click to show such it's... hide current goal. Uh, the game I, I it's you, good. The game I I'm told watching you now. about called. Um... The static speaks my name. You, a 41-year-old man, David Davids. You are writing book called Bucket Detective. Book is not good. Truthfully, you not care about write book. You not even like read books because reading gives headache from make think too hard. You are married to wife who is abusive. By abusive, you mean she not do perverted sex whenever demanded. To get perverted sex, you approach girls in the street they not give it, and instead call you creep and pig. This is why you is writing Bucket Detective. Famous book make it impossible for girls to resist sex, especially glasses girls at nearby community college. At dinner with friend of yours who have recent success in business, you say, writing book is hard. Is there not an easy way to write great book? Friend of yours smile with mischief and says, yes, yes there is. He hand you card with address and say, Go here and do what asked of you. In exchange, you will get what is desired. And if you not like, you leave any time. You not think more than one second to decide this is plain because it's much simpler to create good words on empty page. So, one cold and rainy morning, you arrive at address and enter front door. Wait, Kane, you gotta check your Instagram. It's vital. I will in a That's actually the funniest thing that I've ever seen in my life. Dial 359. Oh, I left. Fuck. <laughs> well, that this was that. situation just not for you. Unsure if building too creepy, or you just not like help anyone with anything, you go back home. You work more on Bucket Detective, but it no longer worth it when you find out some girls say yes to sex if given money. They not too pretty, and one give poison to your bedroom parts, but they is pervert when paid enough. You sell desk and computer and car to pay for sex, but after several months, things to sell run out. Wife, of course, she gone by now. And you realize maybe you like her more than you thought. On TV, there is talk of great war that is coming, but oh well, best not to pay attention to things that not completely have to do with you. There are five different endings. Alright, I guess time to start this again. Fuck. <laughs> I fucked up Nathaniel. Why is the stream so rarded? What do you mean? It is about like 15 seconds behind the voice chat. Oh, well it's because I have a- Oh god damn it. I can hear it. Yep, never mind. Fuck, fuck the- Damn, Caleb. That man is a legend. I know, bro! Like, he was just a you, man, I'm back. Man, David Hold on, Horn didn't even touch the ground. Hold on, Nathaniel, I'll, uh... I think I can... No, I can hear my voice, like, 
15 seconds after I say anything, so it's fine. I'm just gonna turn the media down. Okay. I'm gonna do that with the bass drum. Okay, so don't leave right off the start. Got it. Hi. My name is Gwen Sleepless. I'm a 23 year old white male, and I'm the building's maintenance man, cook, and I also clean the toilets. I thought it would be nice if once the Dark Lord is reborn to bring in 10,000 years of terror, if people could visit the place where it all began. <laughs> kind of like a museum to the origin of their torment. So I've installed these boxes, which I call Gwen boxes, all over the building to explain the significance of different areas. Obviously, since the Dark Lord Mishriel, the seven-tongued slayer of kings, the roaster of the innocent, the defiler of the damned has yet to rise, these Gwen boxes are kind of a work in progress. Alright. This is the Factorio free play. Launch a rocket into space. That's a bet and a half. That's easy. I'm gonna beat it today before I go to rehearsal. So I'm assuming the symbols on these guys are the the uh, like the symbol of the cult. Why does no one want to talk to me? All right. I'm afraid. Oh, three five nine. If I'm being honest, it is really fucking, uh, I'm just mad that the phone didn't work. Nathaniel, 
What? Main character introduced. He awoke with fear and a gun in his hand. On the road to... Past the Clava Mesa, St. Bucket's Beach, Los Hagos, or the Diamond Shore? Uh... Pesta Calva Mesa. Pesta Calva Mesa, he will come to then. Oh, fuck. I didn't need that. Have you played this game yet, Nathaniel? No. Oh, goddamn. Keeping this letter with me. This is my safety letter. I really don't like these fucking paintings and shit. Just look at this. Oh, there's another one. New safety letter. No pages keep falling out, making me lose them. I guess that's what happens when you buy a used journal that is basically rotting. I'm poor. Ha ha ha. Oh, that's a thing. Please return. Oh, someone took his fucking spoon. Who would do this to him? Did they really just take a nigga's spoon? They, uh, yes. Don't say that on stream. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, good. It's one of these. Ah, oh, I love it. Alright, at least all of these. All of these spoons are intact. Thank God for that. This guy looks like he's about to overthrow dictatorship Russia. Hello, father? These are the offices of the two fathers, Dr. Z.W. Francis and Jedediah Holcomb, who were the founders and leaders of our happy little... <laughs> I almost said cult, but it's a religion. There is a difference. The fathers believed that they were in fact one being that had been divided into two bodies for fear that if one being had so much knowledge, power, and sexual charisma, the universe would be torn into shreds. So to keep that great power separated, the fathers worked without ever meeting face to face or speaking aloud to one another. Instead, they communicated by passing letters through the mail slot between their offices. It was in this way that they laid down the laws of Mishriel, the god among gods, the gimp in the graveyard, the pus of Xanadu. Oh, this is the mail slot. So wait, I gotta... Oh, the Holy Bible by Jeremiah Holcomb, the Talmud by Jeremiah Holcomb, Book of Mormon by Jeremiah Holcomb, the Buddha corrected by Jeremiah Holcomb. What a popular guy. Right? He's just made so many great books. <laughs> That's a lot of X's. Alright, let's, let's hear about this guy. Jedediah Holcomb, oh, known Jedediah. as the Mystic, was a hypnotist, psychologist, poet, meditation guru, and expert on world religions. His most significant work was the unification of all major religious texts to place the Dark Lord himself at the center. Yes, everyone from Jesus Christ to the Buddha were in fact pawns of Mishriel, the breather of bile, the decapitator of slaves, the withholder of orgasms. Alright. I don't know what this does yet, so I'm not gonna use it. Oh, can I take it back? There are stone factories that you can make still. Female anatomy. A lot of female anatomy. History of the vagina. What's that? Small tiny bottle? Can I have? Oh, I found the spoon!
Oh, reading in reverse. Okay. <laughs> that's that's neat. They really like drawing X's on books. Dr. Z. W. Francis, known as the Scholar, was a mathematician, physicist, biologist, inventor, painter, and most importantly, a medical doctor specializing in the female reproductive system. He was the first physician to do a deep, deep, deep study of the female body, from a medical perspective, of course. And had the fools in the medical establishment not misinterpreted his work and taken away his license to practice medicine, the writings and tools he developed would be the cornerstone of modern gynecology. Okay, so we've got a gynecologist rapist, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 12 year old girls are not not supposed to be in a harem. God damn it. Thank you. I know I'm only 11, but I want to be very powerful, like be a leader of an army or a football team. I think I can do it well. Tell him that his dreams are stupid. <laughs> Okay, so Nathaniel, is this like a borderline horror game? Uh, I don't know. I haven't played. Okay, well, I think it might be. It probably is. Yeah, it's it's a little it's a little spook. I mean, the static speaks my name was kind of spooky. Hey, Kane. Huh. I think I'm gonna get out of the call and uh, just watch the stream okay. so I can enjoy that. Goodbye, Nathaniel. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. I can do that. Right now, I'm just doing some factor, boys. Uh, 
uh, describe what's going on right now to me so that I have an idea. I'm trying to receive the truth from the two fathers. On February 18th, Are the fathers delivered their seed to the holy female vessel and then died of simultaneous heart attacks. Their bodies were cremated and their ashes preserved in urns while their souls were released into the building. Oh, so that upon the So what's the game about? I have no clue whatsoever. Israel, the putrid prince, the horn of Babel, the apple among the corn. Uh, basically, you're a guy trying to write a book called Bucket Detective because you're into some really kinky shit. And you are trying to... Uh, you're trying... You go to this place because your friend tells you that if you go here, you can finish your book and it'll be a bestseller and that's what you want. in here game I don't want this So. With the rebirth of the Dark Lord soon to come, the fathers needed to be certain which of their followers were true believers, so they constructed a challenge called the Believer's Waltz. The fathers then sat in the chairs on this stage and telepathically delivered the precise steps required to complete the waltz. Those who completed the waltz were to be blessed with the gifts of the Dark Lord, while those who could not were locked away to die. Oh gosh, dang it, Bobby. I made too many inserters. I am the largest fool. 
Okay, so if I want to automate this, then I'm going to need that. He's so tall! And handsome as heck! He's so bad, but he does it so well! That freaking song is a meme. Good. Okay. I don't know how I'm doing this. How's my copper doing? You're active coal boys. Produce coal faster, fella. I don't know what you want from me. Trying to give you what you want. Oh no! Someone took another spoon. I have to find it. Oh good, this room looks terrifying. Make sure that we're producing some good old copper. Need more wood. The beginning of this game is so like hard to play because I just don't have any resources whatsoever. I'm sorry, my child. Though your devotion has been great, you have shown yourself to be a fake. Deliver yourself to the cage at the far end of the room, but do not despair. Your death will be slow and painful, and your loved ones will soon forget you. I need more iron. Oh my god, that's a lot of iron. I just came in my pain. But is there a spoon in this room? Hi, Kyrus. What a good dog. Kyrus is like, huh? Hey, anybody need a spoon? Oh, Gwen got put in the chamber. Oh, no, the spoon's in there. Okay, I have to go start it again and then mess it up. That way I can get in the cage and get the spoon. 
No, I can't do it again. I just I missed a spoon. Oh. And it's okay. No, it's not. I need the spoon. Well, and you so live. Sad. Alexa, don't you dare do it. It's right there. We have spoon. I wasn't sure if I'd do this, but I thought visitors might want to know more about me, their humble guide, Gwen Sleeveless. So let's see. My parents died when I was two. I was sexually abused by the man who ran my orphanage, and I used to burn my face with cigarettes to get attention. Pretty standard stuff. I was 14 when I ran away, and 18 when the fathers took me in and gave me this bed, which they graciously placed under a leaky pipe to strengthen my mental strength, which they said I had none of. When I'm not cleaning toilets, I write songs about the fathers, I draw pictures of the fathers, and I pray to the fathers. As you can tell, I'm a pretty lucky guy. Okay, let's fuck up. Let's ramp up some iron for that. I have to give my whole hand. Alright. Right, satisfied. Bucket, Detec Bucket Detective by David Davids. Page 63, paragraph 3, line 2. A touching romantic scene, alright? Kiss me, all babe, right. and never forget. Your heart is like a bucket. Now, which one should I do? Your heart is like a bucket, a place to put someone you love. Your heart is like a bucket, made of muscle and filled with blood. Or your heart is like a bucket on the front of most Valentine's Day cards. The first one. Alright. Ah! Oh, there goes my whole damn hand. Oh, they show it. That's fucking gross. I mean, the game's anime. Like, it's not good animation style, but that's the point. That's why I love I fucking love the whale this one so much.
when I take him to the Shrine of the Dark Lord. Okay, well that's a sign. This baby's fucked. Excuse me? <laughs> it really just has to be like that sometimes. I got the achievement banned. What's that? You've been banned from babysitter.com, nannies4hire.net, and non abusive caretakers to watch your child.org. <laughs> I got an achievement for throwing the baby so many times. It happened. Holy shit, there's- hold on, there's an- I just ramped up iron production by... Six times. Oh, is this the sacrifice Kane, this legs? is actually really funny. I don't want to sacrifice so, my legs. Hold on, I have to sacrifice my legs. How do I- what? Do I crawl from this point on? Oh, I'm naked, I forgot, damn it. Oh, I got man boobs, nice. By Bucket Detective, by Kane? David Davids, huh? Uh, I just got an email from a private drum teacher that I usually get emails from sometimes that just gives you helpful tips and tricks for like quads and stuff. And it says, my section leader doesn't like me. Hi, I see this post all the times, and here's how to handle this. I think Emily, who <laughs> went to this guy's forum. And was like, uh, bottom text. Uh, alright, well, alright, Caleb, you gotta help me. The final sentence. Okay. The final sentence of my book. Alright. Alright. Bucket Detective by David Davids. Final page, final paragraph, final line. Tragic death of the detective. Abel blank with stone of sin, but I forgive the blank of a bucket detective and bucket detective. Unbucketed detective. That's all you, brother. There's no two. What if I hit two? <laughs> so there wasn't a second option. So I hit two, and then just bucket detective. Oh, now there's a wheelchair. I guess it's gonna take me through the rest of the game. It's haunted, because it just rolled up to this shit, but I'll take a baby. Oh, I threw the baby into the wheelchair. Oh, it's it's a so just a tutorial. Don't you tell me how to play this game. I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm rolling through this shit now. I got myself a wheelchair. Hell yeah. Skirt. Sacrifice baby. Oh, I didn't know. I thought I just... Oh, I sacrificed the baby. I thought I was just putting him in the elevator. This baby oh, dead. Oh, oh, oh. I just got sprayed with dead baby blood. Now I get to return home. I feel like this is a trick. I feel like if I don't return home, something else will happen.
I'll return home, but I'm taking the Legend of Creamhole Cavern with me. It's so big. later, you awake in hospital with pain surge through body. After long recovery, you return home with wooden finger, arm, and legs. But still, you use wheelchair because it feel like racing game. When finally continue writing Bucket Detective, words flow out of you like water out of an upside down cup. Within short time, book is finished and published and on many best book lists and selling like millions. With much success, you finally get a young girl as you've been warned. Some even much too young, if you catch my meaning, but morality have never been your favorite subject. Wife, she cared for you whole time of recovery, but now best kick her out to make room for new girls. Meanwhile, major cities go up in flames and dark force take over world. Many are dying, many are infected with disease and psychosis and put into slavery, but you is not so interested. All you care do is roll in chair and make penis spit with pretty girls. Life is good. Life is good. Alright, so that's ending one of five. So that's probably like the most basic for this first chapter of the book. Oh, well, that's a short game. Yeah, that's the that's why I like Jesse Marksdale and the Whale Husband. I don't know if it's just him or if it's like him and then someone who animates it. Oh yeah, okay, it's multiple people. So Jesse Barksdale is the one who made Static Speaks My Name, but the company is The Whale Husband, and the Static Speaks My Name was like a five minute game that I've probably sunk like 50 hours into, just because there's so many little things you can find, and hidden stuff, and this game is the same way, this game has five endings. I think the Static Speaks My Name only had two real endings. I need lights! I'm obsessed with lights in this game. Satisfied. You like that, Nathaniel? Yeah. I'm not done. Uh, I know. I'm, I'm going to have to leave soon. I don't want to get too invested again. Alright, uh, I'll probably stop now then. But damn, that's pretty cool. <laughs>